on to race two and as James had stated in his post race one interview he was going for the double at home at Brands but in all his superbike career he'd never achieved that so this would be a real test of his mettle and if he could pull it off he'd take a huge step closer to claiming his second world crown but Bayliss, Biaggi, Hager and Corsa weren't about to just roll over for him as they headed for the start let's rejoin Scott Smart and Jonathan Green Brace yourselves for the Battle of Brands! Away we go! Good start again from Harder, but a better one from oh, oh. Bayless as he dives and goes the inside. The ashy has got on the inside, but Kagi Armour's not with him. That was really tight squeeze because Tozer was being squeezed across the inside by Cor uh, Bayless crashing across, and Biashi got off the line phenomenally well, but then got crushed and ended up actually having to shut the throttle Something eventually. Not that was one of the Kawasaki's, but like you say, Tozer's got work to do, and look at this early on, Harger's there! Oh, Graham Hill Bend, no fear! And he's through, so Harger leads, Tozer's trying to go with him. And trying to go around the outside of Bayliss. Now, Bayliss, will he get duffed up like he did in the first race? Yes! Oh, oh no way, James Tozer! Well, that's the confidence of a man who believes he can win the and title. he has so much speed, he's probably going to pass Harger down the back straight. Tozer almost named his own corner. Bayliss third, Kagiyama fourth, and Troy Corsa looking up the inside of Kagiyama, let's try and steal fourth place, not enough for him. Kagiyama is such a hard guy to pass, he does make a motorbike very comes. wide. And the crowd go wild as Tosin takes the lead again and takes command. Corsa again up the inside of Kagiyama and makes it stick finally, does he run wide? So Corsa a real battle, Kagiyama, the ash is waiting. Zaz isn't far behind, Laconi 8th, Babalizio 9th and Rolfo. James Tozen and Nori Yuki Haga. The Yamaha's made it seem third. Yeah, he's got through, so Corsa is through to third. Can he build on? Biagi up the inside, Kagiyama. And this is where it all went wrong for Kagiyama in the first race. Not wide though, Kagiyama comes back, they're side by side. Oh. Biagi will still get the drive on the start, finish straight. As his bike wobbles in protest. I'm going to stick my neck out the window and have a look at this one going into Paddock Hill Bend. Zaz joins the party. Oh, Zaz ever so close. Zaz actually makes the pass. Yes, he does. So Ruben Zaz, Fabrizio is wanting a bit of it too. Kagiyama will not be happy about that. And the leaders change. Wow, just while we're doing that, Harger's made a great move up Druids. And out of Graham Hill, he leads. You know, as I said, Tosin, you know, going for the double. I think he'd prefer to take maybe Bayliss or even Biagio, but not Harger. Oh, Harger absolutely yeah. out of white lines, and that bit of track's dirty. As Tosin gets the drive oh! through the Great racing. We said the Honda was strong there, and that just shows it. Don't see many people go around the outside and, uh, on the main straight, but uh, James has just done it, and uh, the answer to the question for Nori is yes. I'm happy to play. Let's go. This weekend, he wasn't a Bruno and he's being duffed up. So then Biagi comes in, he's not happy. And he's gone to the end of the pit lane. And through he goes. Must not speed in the pit lane. Well. And there's a pit, there's a limiter, a switch that you put on on the bike, and it holds the bike within about a mile an hour of the speed limit. Here's the start. Watch Biagi on the second row. There you see it. Just that tiny little movement as we're going forward and backward there. That was all it took. But it was enough, and you've got a feel for him there. I mean, it was a jump start. It, but the, the rules are, are, as the lights go out the front, it's not whether or not you're moving, it's whether or not the front axle has crossed the front of the box. There you go. Well, that'll make it very interesting. Oh, and here comes Harger, now having said that. Look at Harger. Where did he get that run from? Just a little bit more speed out onto the back straight, and he used the slipstream in the early part of the straight. Well, that's interesting because... Uh, the Yamaha's definitely improved in speed in the last couple of race meetings. <laughs> Tozen on the inside oh, curve. Oh, come on! Crowd go wild as James Tozen takes the lead again. And that course is all over the back of Harder. Down the hill they go, up towards Druids. At that point, Fabrizio still going strong in four. Bayliss all the way back down in seventh position. Yeah, he's... Uh, no, that's Lanzi and Biagi, sorry. That's uh, further back, that's 11th and 12th. Yeah, and Biagi's about to get through. This is a, a great ride again from Biagi, given that he's had a jump start.
They're in touch, aren't they? They're in touch to go and challenge him at the end of the race. Yeah. Oh, look at the traffic. Here it comes, Biagi. I said he's got Rolfo in front of him. He's got oh. him behind him now because he just knocked him out of the way. I'll tell you what, I have never seen this sort of aggression from Biagi. It's great to see. And Biagi's made light work of catching Regis the Cody. Yes, he has. And look at him. He's going to fly by him right now. Over the Kona can do nothing, he looks as though he's standing still. Shows the difference in speed between the Kawasaki and uh, the, rest of the rest of the field, though. Well, they've got a new bike next year, they need one. Cool, yeah. And the crowd go absolutely wild for their man, James Tozen, who does the double at France. And surely we are looking at the new world champion from Great Britain, James Tozen. Corsa tries everything in his palette, but can't do it. Harger holds on to take second place. But James Tozen is king. Doing the double at Rands is a dream for any British rider, but to do it on the way to what looks like a certain world championship is something special. Tozen was quite simply untouchable on the day, and he deserved every moment of this day in the sun. He now has a 66-point lead over Haga with three rounds and six races to go. Well, this is my seventh year superbike racing and, and this is my first double win, I can't believe it, but I don't know what I've been playing at all these years. Um, but to do it here at Brands Arch is uh, very emotional, I just want to dedicate it to, uh, to my family and close friends really, um, and all my supporters. Um, it's just overwhelming, absolutely overwhelming, I can't uh, thank everybody here enough, but my family and close friends um, uh, are my rock and um, I just want to, uh, to, to dedicate this to them and, uh, and also my grandpa will be watching.